welcome to part 40, so we were supposed to already be done with the Celestial Tower, but, you know, got kind of sidetracked, I was trying to catch a male Litwick, which I did, and I nicknamed it Soul Flare. So soul as in spirit or ghost, because it's a ghost type of flare, as in a flare, flare of fire, because it's a ghost of fire type. Here you can get TF-65 Shadow Claw. This is Ace Trainer Beckett who has only a Stoutland. Stoutland is the final evolution of Lillipop. So it goes Lillipop, prettier than Stoutland. Since all of my Pokemon have been healed, I'll go in with a Ancient Power. Doesn't do much. Use the Thunder Tank again. I use Crunch. Hopefully, this Aqua Jet will do it. It survives with a sliver of HP, as do I. And Aqua Jet sends his talons off. Over here you can get a revive, which is kind of ironic because all the Pokemon here were dead. They, they were revived here. Why do people just revive their Pokemon? And here's another Ace Trainer. This is Ace Trainer. This is Ace Trainer Cassandra, who has two Pokemon. She starts off with a Swoobat. And I thought Elder would, would be faster and hit it with punch knock it out, but apparently not. Here's Electrica. Electro Ball should do the trick. Here's Gotharita. Gotharita is the evolved form of Gothisa. I'll use a signal beam. Hopefully that'll wrap this up. Almost got it. Oh, Flatter. Flatter is like a swagger. Except it, it's Flatter reads a special attack. I'll use an Electro Ball. Electro Ball hits him, she's defeated.
And now we're on the top. So now she wants us to ring the bell. The only thing the bell really does is it soothes the spirits of the dead Pokemon. I think you can use an escape room. I don't have an escape rope, actually. Fuck. And now we're out of Celestial Tower. Since that we're out, we can go and get our... Not our fifth, um... Our sixth gym badge. So this is the Mastrotin City Gym. Rock, Electric, and Ice Type Pokemon do especially well here. I have a Rock and an Electric Type Pokemon. As you can see, we get shot out of a, out of cannons, which apparently doesn't like like rupture our organs and like disintegrate our our bodies and stuff. No, it's just per perfectly fine. Okay, so I've been training Elder up a lot of levels, and I gave Galventula, for well, Electrica, the experience here until that was the only level up, and because I'm going to be using both of them for this gym. Elder can take them out with Ancient Power, which I will be saving for later. And Electrical can use um, Electro Ball and Electro Web and whatever electric move that it learns in, during, during the level of the vision. I got hit with Taunt. So I switch into a Ratchica, use an Electro Ball, and hopefully that will end the battle pretty quick.
I'm actually called level up to level 37. And worker Cliff is now defeated. So, a Cook can especially take care of Ducklet since it's supposed to do four times the damage we can see to the attack bonus. And now a Siglyph, which is, which is a ghost and flying type, Crunch should take care of it, no problem. So this is actually the wrong way, I just want to go here, to face this trainer. And the other has their shell smash, which is a good move. And now, work the bridge is into a Wubat. Shell smash is, is a normal move. It has 15 PP, um, 15 base PP. I don't really know what it does. I probably do know what it does, but I don't remember so. It has to come here on the bottom and get fired out of the rocket. Then come here. We're not even to that far because you actually need to go back into the rocket. So yeah. And she has a Unfezzet. Unfezzet is the final evolution of Pedo. So it goes Pedo, Tranquil, P Unfezzet. Your rival will have an Unfezzet. Which she has good, but it can go down evenly. I'll actually be ending the video here. This is the end of part 42.